I miss Clippy. I guess number one would be Hitler. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, I'm talking to you. So, um, I'm trying to write stupid clickbait articles for money. I have to do 2,000 words a day just to pay rent. I don't even have time for my screenplay. <coughs> oh, boo. <laughs> Suck it up. A real writer can do 2,000 words blindfolded. How? With a blindfold, idiot. 2,000 is nothing to really make it. You've got to write 30,000 words a day. And I can teach you how with a secret method the professionals call fury writing. 30,000 words a day? There's no way. Stephen King can knock out three books a year. Nora Roberts has 225 novels under her belt. L. Ron Hubbard published over a thousand pieces, all while clawing thetans out of his face. How do these famously prolific writers get it done? I don't know. Through fury writing? Hell no! Those part-timers pale in comparison to the prolific writer that you can become, that you will become. So are you ready to ride the dragon? Does that mean I'll be able to make a decent living as a writer? Yeah, good dirt. Are you waking up late on Sundays, reflecting on the week with a hot cup of joe? You might as well be dead in a grave. That seems a little harsh. A fury writer needs to be ready to go by 1am. You need that solitary time to get those frantic, half-asleep inspirations down on digital paper. Studies show that our most creative hours are in the morning. So imagine how creative you'll be when your morning is 11 hours long. Now let's talk about that drink. What? But I love coffee. <laughs> Coffee is what you use to wean premature babies off of respirators. Let's talk about a real writer's drink. First, take a cauldron, an actual cast iron, which is cauldron, and bring a gallon of water to a scalding boil. Then add coffee grounds, a handful of Trinidad scorpion peppers, a folic mirror's worth of tisoxin, sometimes called meth, and a hint of pumpkin spice. Well, now I have nervous tics and day nightmares, but I haven't written anything. <laughs> oh, shut up. We're about to rip through the writer's rock like a red hot shrapnel through a pillowcase full of marmalade. First step, forget everything you've ever learned in a classroom. Everything? Forget narrative, character settings, facts, structure, dialogue, research, word usage, basic grammar, and spelling. Instead, let your fingers do the thinking. This is a numbers game, and that number is 30,000. Ever play a fighting game blindfolded with your fingers instead of your thumbs, then that's the general feel you're going for. Your first draft of whatever you're writing should look a little something like this. Huh? Beautiful. It's 10.30 at night. You're pretty sure you got a bestseller on your hands. So, probably time to start rewriting, editing... Wrong again, impoverished writer. Email it straight to Hollywood. Remember, this is a numbers game. It's not the first numbers game. Now, that numbers game was 30,000. This other numbers game's a low number, like one in a million. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Everything you write has a 0.01% chance of a Pulitzer or a Nobel Prize. So you beat the odds. You need to be a spammer on steroids. Yeah. It all's starting to make sense. And I 
think I'm the physical manifestation of Satan. <laughs> so are you ready to enjoy fame and financial security through writing like a cheetah? If cheetahs could type and their typing was somehow related to their running speed? Yes. Too bad. What? You're never going to enjoy the success of writing. Not with all the writing you're going to do. But what's the point? Writing is about the writing, not the fame, drugs, or endless glory so commonly associated with the writing community. I can't believe this. So learn today. Theory writing. I'm learning to code. Just 29 payments of $49.99. Get it. Get what? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Hello? Hollywood? An Oscar winning script by Tamara? Yeah. You know what? No problem. <laughs> <laughs>